Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is a lot better than you might have originally thought. So you saw that gameplay, right? I mean, I'm pretty freaking hyped seeing that. The game looks really good, and you're probably very confused because if you've played the game before, chances are it doesn't look that good for you. That's because that gameplay was recorded on an iOS device, you know, an iPhone or an iPad. Most people are playing the game right now on an Android, and the game isn't that optimized for Android devices yet. It doesn't feel as good, it doesn't look as good, and for me personally, I've never been able to play it on an iOS device since like over a year ago at this point in time. I never knew anything different. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all some gameplay from iOS devices, which in turn eventually will be the type of gameplay you're gonna see on Android devices whenever the game comes out globally. I highly doubt the game is going to look completely different from iOS to Android. So the gameplay you're going to see in today's video is gameplay you are going to experience yourself once you can finally play the game in a more global setting. This video would not be possible without three awesome YouTubers who provided me some gameplay that I could take a look at from their YouTube channels. Supreme, TMGG Bruno, who was an iPad player, and then Mobile Clips, who was another iPhone player. These are all fantastic YouTubers who make videos on Warzone Mobile, as you guys can see. I highly recommend checking out their channels if you want to see some good quality gameplay. I'll be putting their links down below in the description. Please do subscribe to them to show your support. And to start, we're going to take a look at what Ultra Graphics in Warzone Mobile looks like on an iPhone. So this is from Supreme. This is absolutely insane. I mean, this game looks ready to go, at least on iOS devices. Even down to the character models, it's pretty freaking solid. I mean, you compare this with some of the other games out there that, you know, you probably play right now. It's pretty freaking good. Um, this is also cool because this gameplay is no HUD gameplay, so you're gonna be able to just, you know, take a look at everything a little bit easier um, without all these random controls all over the screen. And Supreme is really good at the game too, so. Now, I do wanna say I'm not completely oblivious to this game not necessarily being that good on Android devices, okay? I'm not exactly sure what he was doing right there, but uh, I want to show you all this real quick. This is what the game looks like for me on the Red Magic 9 Pro, one of the top-of-the-line gaming devices. For whatever reason, there's a big bug right now where it just doesn't look good at all. There's some weird glitch going on. For other people, it's going to be extremely laggy. It's going to be overheating. Um, and... I don't necessarily know if that's going to be, you know, something that all iOS users aren't going to experience as well. Even if you are an iOS player, it's entirely possible that you might experience these things as well. It really all depends um, what your device is capable of and how much, like, memory and storage you still have available on your device. I hope that makes sense, but, like, basically what I'm trying to say here... There you go, get the kill. What I'm trying to say here is I understand your frustration if you're an Android player. So don't think just because I'm sitting here and saying that the game looks really good on iOS devices, I am just saying that the game is perfect and there's no issues whatsoever. Obviously, I know there are issues. Supreme! What just happened there, buddy? Dude, you're looking all over your screen. You're aiming everywhere but the player. What the heck was going on there? Um, but yeah, I just really think there's just no way Activision is going to release a game that's completely unfinished like this um for android so if you're worried i just think you know give it a little bit more time if they're saying the game might be delayed that's you know entirely possible as well i wouldn't even be that surprised especially for android it's entirely possible that it might release on ios before android um that's stuff that can happen for games you know it's not entirely unheard of and even if that's something that they're not necessarily saying right now i just you know would throw that out there that it's possible that that's the case but yeah man taking a look at this gameplay right here it looks really really good if this is what your average ios experience is going to be like when you're playing wars on mobile i think most people would be pretty happy about this not many complaints even the lighting and the colors and the shadows and everything looks really really good um i remember back in the past wars on mobile looked really really bad in terms of its its color it was just so 
so dull. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, based off of gameplay in the past, it looked like you were playing in like permanently on a cloudy day. And this gameplay here, it's bright and sunny and colorful. The guns have great colors on them. I really like that uh, that finish. That finishing move is really cool. Another thing I want to say is the developers have put out some new information saying that the game is going to probably be capable on some type of Adreno CPU. I don't exactly remember which one, but I'll put the information on the screen. Um, and supposedly down to four gigs of RAM. I could see how that might not necessarily be entirely true. Um, sometimes developers like to overestimate how well their game can perform on devices. So like if you do have four gigs of RAM, do expect it's gonna be a little tough and it might really get hot, it might overheat. I do think in time, Warzone Mobile is gonna be kind of like Call of Duty Mobile where it's gonna be a very optimized game. You know, a year after release, it should perform even on lower than four gigs of RAM. But like, you know, just prepare in the beginning. Could have some rough spots and that's okay. That's what every game goes through. Um, when Call of Duty Mobile first released, it wasn't necessarily the most optimized game in the entire world. Same even with like PUBG Mobile and other games like that. But like now, you can play those games on, you know, two gigs of RAM and it works and it's great. And there's not really too many complaints, to be honest. What's Supreme doing? Uh-oh, looks like his game is lagging. Oh, it's, it's lagging. Uh-oh. Well, you know, this happens. And this goes to show that even on iOS devices, it's still not perfect yet. I'm not exactly sure what's happening. Um, <laughs> he's been having some issues here. Uh, it, it goes to show, though, that for iOS devices, um, you can even have uh, big issues like this. It's looking like his game is randomly spinning. <laughs> he almost airstriked himself. Dude, and that's not even his fault. That's probably the game's fault. But, hey, you know what? Honestly, great gameplay. Better than I would do by a long shot. Um, we're going to take a look at Mobile Clips gameplay now because he is absolutely insane. He is really, really good at this game. And this showcases some uh, multiplayer gameplay. Also, with no HUD. So, that's really cool. Um, I think just the overall screen recording isn't necessarily as good of quality as the first gameplay. That's why I'm showing this one second. I think the first one pretty much shows the game in the best possible light. Um, but Mobile Clips is one of the best Warzone Mobile players, period. Like, out of anybody that I've ever seen, I've watched his videos before, and I've always been very impressed. He posts them on Twitter a lot, um, so you might want to follow him on Twitter so you can see some of his clips that he posts. This is just crazy, dude. This is freaking insane. <laughs> I can only wish to be this good at Warzone Mobile, man. And to me, taking a look at this gameplay here, it feels very fast and snappy, at least on his device. Like, whenever I've played Warzone Mobile in the past, it feels so slow and sluggish, but I can't really see that from this gameplay here. I don't know, maybe he can let us know in the comments what his experience is um, when he plays it, and I, I'd love to hear from him a little bit more. And so you guys can actually hear from him himself what he thinks of Warzone Mobile right now in its current state, but uh, based off of this gameplay right here, I mean, yeah, you're even able to easily control recoil at pretty far distances and stuff like that, and that's just really tough to do when the game is on Android, and it's just, it's kind of slow and sluggish and, and very weird. Very hard to, like, you know, just control and stuff like that. Um, I believe, obviously, this game is playable with a controller, so I'm interested if Maybe your overall experience would be better on a controller, but I would say, you know, at least if you're on Android, probably not. I would still say touchscreen is probably the way to go just because you would have a more direct feedback just by pressing buttons on your screen and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, looking at this gameplay here, I am very, very impressed with how good the game is looking so far. This is pretty close to Call of Duty Mobile graphics, and you have to remember Call of Duty Mobile has had, like, four or five years of development, maybe even six years of development at this point in time. So I mean, like, the fact that this game has had such a shorter period of development and it's already looking this good, it's going to be awesome. Obviously, it's not going to replace Call of Duty Mobile, as we've heard from the developers already. They're going to have the two games simultaneously, but uh, for everybody that, you know, has been playing Call of Duty Mobile for like four or five years and is sick and tired of it, this is going to be a good next step, I think, once it's finally out globally, it's finally optimized, it looks good on iOS and Android, and you don't have all of these bugs and glitches and overheating and stuff like that. That was Warzone Mobile on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and he literally says himself, Warzone Mobile feels good, so I mean, like, I don't 
think that's just, you know, a complete blatant lie. He obviously thinks the game looks pretty good. Finally, I wanted to show you all some gameplay on an iPad. This is on an iPad Mini 6, as you can see up at the top there. Um, I'm going to fast forward until he jumps out of the plane here. On an iPad, it looks just as good as on an iPhone. And this gameplay is very different because it's just a more standard battle royale. This is from TMGG Bruno. Um, he is another great Warzone Mobile player. Um, he's made lots of videos on his YouTube channel. Um... Look at that, immediately getting getting kills the second he lands. <laughs> awesome finishing move. And I mean, graphics-wise with this, there's really no complaints here with this as well. I mean, this is looking pretty solid. The only thing I could see maybe could have some work on would be the trees in the distance there. Um, and just maybe like the rendering distance. I think the rendering is a little bit off at farther distances. That's why Rebirth Island looked pretty good because, you know, it's such a small map. Everything is rendered pretty well. In a bigger map like Verdansk, um, you could probably notice there could be some deterioration farther in the distance. And I think that's something that they might want to work on in time as the game gets more and more optimized. They can increase the render distance further and further and make the game look better and better. Here's his teammates. He's finally meeting his team. We got Punisher 90 who's getting a bunch of kills in the kill feed, and then Goku, 203, with an RPG. Bruno got a lot of kills in this gameplay, too, so, I mean, um, you're gonna be prepared for some pretty high-action gameplay here, um, and it's always great. I love being able to look at gameplays like this in comparison to the gameplays, like, a year ago when the game was still in an alpha and a beta state in China, because for whatever reason, all the people in China just did not know how to play the game at all, and that's probably because the game just was slow and sluggish, like I said before. But, like, yeah, it was in a pretty bad state. And based off of this gameplay here, I'm noticing a little bit of rubber banding. But, again, that is entirely because I am sure he has a lot of ping right now. That's going to be completely removed when the game is available to everybody. And you can have low ping. You know, 10, 20, even 50 ping is going to be a heck of a lot better than... He's probably getting 300 ping right here, you know, for all we know. In terms of FPS, though, I'm seeing pretty consistent. You know, I am seeing a little bit of lag. Um... You know, and this is on an iPad Mini 6. It's not necessarily on an iPad Pro with the highest end RAM. But despite that, it's entirely playable. So it's really cool. Hey, there we go. Good job, Bruno. He's doing very well, though. He's able to, like, control his recoil and do other stuff like that. Dude, what the? How'd you get an elimination? Maybe your teammate finished off the other person? I have no idea what happened. The match is closing up, though, and I want to show you all this nice reload animation. Look at this with the lighting and everything, or inspection at least, that looks good. I mean, you know, the gun models are good in this game now, so I mean, I'm, I'm very happy about that. Bruno encounters the same types of people as me, just like randomly appearing behind them out of nowhere. Oh, that's bold. That's bold to take out a sniper. <laughs> What's he doing? Hey, there we go. Good job. That was bold. That was very bold. And then there's another guy just randomly. Hello, how's it going? I mean, like, what the heck is that, dude? I personally still think there's bots in Warzone Mobile. I know, I know a lot of people are saying that there's no bots, but, like, I still feel like there might be at least some. You can tell from the rendering here. Here, if I actually go back, I want to show you all. When he zooms in, do you see how the grass just ends pretty close to him? He's not that far away. Um... But it's just weird, you know? It's just very, very low render distance in this game. I don't like that. There's another enemy right over here. I'm not sure what he was doing. Just hiding in the grasses. That's always good. Enemy dropping into the AO. I like the voices that the guy has in Warzone. It, it makes the game feel more serious, you know? Not all these games with these crazy skins and emotes and all these ridiculous things, you know, that kind of make it not feel like a serious war game. Um, this is Warzone, you know? This is... You're not messing around in Warzone. This is just... This is just action. Gunplay, and that's it. Hardcore military shooter, kinda. For the most part, you know, as much as you can get for a mobile game, I guess. And yeah, I am noticing um, this gameplay is a bit different from some of the other ones because it's a much longer match. It's been recorded for much longer. Um, I am starting to know some frame drops here. Um, it's not necessarily like a stable 30 FPS. And I think this is also impacting Bruno's gameplay a little bit because the game is kind of acting a little bit wonky. He actually said in, I think, his tweet to me that the gameplay was kind of a little laggy. Um, 
compared to normal. So maybe normally it's a little bit better, but like, you know, this is the gameplay that he provided to me. And it kind of shows a game in a different light compared to um, before, you know, when everything is all 100% perfect, but that's not necessarily all the time. Sometimes you are going to experience lag and high latency, as it literally says right here at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, literally says high latency. But yeah, I mean, the match is almost finished. We're getting close to the end here. Bruno's going to get a few more kills. Finish that guy off. Don't hit fire from that far away. You got to zoom in. Aim down the sights. Very nice. Get the elimination. I like the finishing moves. I feel like I'm going to be the type of person that's going to do the finishing move all the time. Hey, and even the ragdoll effect looks good. And that's something that, you know, a lot of games might overlook. They might just have this really weird death animation. And it kind of, again, as I said, ruins your immersion. Bruno's about to get the kill. Is that it? No, it looks like there's some more people still. I don't know. I'm actually not sure if Bruno's going to get the final kill. I think Punisher might. Yeah, Punisher might. That's the last person right there. Hey, and there we go. There's the victory. A win on the iPad Mini 6. Yeah, so I mean, that was gameplay on an iPad Mini 6. This is not necessarily the very top of the line iOS device. So you got to see what the game looked like on a pretty medium range iOS device. But of course, we can't forget Mobile Clip's insane gameplay on some multiplayer. I mean, it's just freaking insane. His gameplay is ridiculously good. And then of course, the probably best looking graphics from Supreme with no HUD. I mean, the game just looks so good. Take a look at that. Dude, it's freaking insane. In time, as I said, I think this game is going to look the same as this, but for everybody. So yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you all did enjoy this video. It was a bit longer than some of my other ones, but hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more mobile gaming content like this. And be sure to subscribe to Supreme, Mobile Clips, and Bruno. All of their channel links will be down below in the description. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode.